Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove these pesky little programs called System Tool, Fake Antivirus, Security, all these different types that you got on the internet nowadays. And uh, once you get infected with them they can be pretty tricky to get removed off your PC. Now the reason for it being is it stops you from running any applications like Malwarebytes. So I've got Malwarebytes installed on here and uh, I will try to run it and as you can see it stops it from running, it won't allow me to run it. Um, but we're going to use a little program called Road Killer, and uh, once we use this, this will actually delete the service and stop the program from running. So we can then run our programs to clean the, the actual system off. What you've got to take into mind is um, it will also delete the proxy that may have been set up by the by the actual fake antivirus or fake uh, program that you've installed. But it won't actually delete the actual program itself, like the the exe. Uh, program it won't delete that you'll have to use uh, malware bytes to actually move that afterwards so let's have a little look what this program is doing it's trying to send us to a fake website so we can actually uh, pay for this software that's going to magically remove this for us which is fake anyway um, as you can see it's just doing a fake scan now and uh, basically it'll come up say we're infected and it wants you to go and pay for the software okay so let's have a little look let's see all this rubbish here I'm just gonna go like this get rid of that and I'm gonna actually reboot the system and get into safe mode I'm gonna keep tapping on F8 this will take us into safe mode so we can then run our program. Now this is a virtual box because it makes it easier for me to show you and I'm using Windows XP because it's a lot less hassle to show you how to remove these with Windows XP than it is Windows 7. But it will work with Windows 7 as well. So we're just going into safe mode as you can see in the four corners there. Just load into safe mode. okay so now we're at safe mode so what I'm going to do here I'm going to run my application my road killer by pushing one in okay so it's found the files as you can see these files here that are running so now we want to delete these files to push delete, two for delete, okay and it's now deleted these files, registry as you can see, bad processes, so it's done its job, so what I'm going to do now is report, save that onto there, system's going to shut down this is what the virus is doing it stops you from working in in safe mode but hopefully now when we boot back up that program should not be running so we'll let this boot back up to to the desktop And hopefully Rogue Killer's done its job to stop that process from running. Okay. As you can see the process is now not running. It's allowing us to open up programs and applications. As you can see this is the actual um, website we can actually get the tool from. It's a free tool, and this uh, Tixie's actually uh, made the program. So as it says, bad processes. It's found those types. Stop those running. Host. And there you go. Okay, so let's uh, run our program. We don't need that. 
so let's run our malware bytes now to get rid of the surplus executable files that are sitting on the system I'm going to do an update first okay something's gone wrong there maybe the program's not installed right let me just uh, try a scan first I'll try a quick scan I'll pause at this stage okay so while the scans running what I'll do is I'll uh, quickly show you the website so this is uh, Road Killers website made by Tigsy you can come to this website and download the program by clicking on this icon here and it will allow you to download it it's in, I think it's French by the looks of it. Let's just uh, get rid of that. Okay, so that's the actual scan finished now. We've got 29 infections. So we'll show the uh, results there. Okay, so there you can see files, Trojan files. So we'll remove these now. Like so. Now that was only a quick scan. I'd advise you to do a, a full scan. Just do a restart. I'll pause here. Okay, so that's now rebooted. Uh, what I'm going to do is also give this a, a run. Can you give this a complete scan? I'll pause the screen now. Let this finish. I'll also do an update of uh, malware bytes now. Now that's working, and we'll do a full scan on that as well. Just downloaded a new version of malware bytes. I'll just pause the screen at this stage. Okay, so I'm just going to uninstall or turn off the system restore and then turn it back on just to make sure all the system, respawn, uh, system restore points have been cleared because it's probably sitting in there as well. Okay, so that's the uh, full scan done now, and as you can see, it's found a load more stuff on a full scan. So we're going to remove these. We've got the uh, Trojans here, TDSS. So we'll remove these. Okay. Delete these. Reboot the system, and I'll do a full scan with malware bytes, and that should be pretty much it. As you can see, the system restore points infected as well this may be because I was uh, using this box to do other scans previously so you might not see that much okay so we'll restart now okay so we'll just update malware bytes and then we'll give that a full scan Do a full complete scan with malware bytes on the C drive. I'll pause it at this stage. Okay, so that's the full scan done on malware bytes. Trojan fake, as you can see. We'll get rid of this now. Do a complete clean. Okay, so it wants to do a reboot. So I'll say yes to that. I'll pause at this stage. I'll just give it a quick uh, clean with C cleaner, clean off any uh, junk there.
and that's it that's how you use a uh, road killer pretty good give it a go and as you can see the system's now clean so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed my videos then please support me the channel by hitting the subscribe button and also if you want to join the forums there come over there and post some posts up there about your problems you may have for your computers then uh, pop over there uh, the, the actual web address is at the bottom of the screen there and uh, I'll see you over there. Bye for now.